There's new hope for people suffering from a debilitating skin disease called EB. It's where blisters cover almost the entire body. And that hope comes in the form of a gene therapy gel developed right here at Stanford. All right, sweetie, are you ready to get your medicine? And it's particularly encouraging for kids. This is incredible. I mean, this is life-changing treatment. How did you come about it? Gene therapy is like an incremental process. We started off taking patient skin cells from a biopsy and then putting the genes into the skin cells in the lab and then grafting the skin cells back onto the patient. But uh, this next step is a little bit simpler in that we just put the gene therapy directly on the skin, on the wounds. This is the first gene therapy gel of its kind developed right here at Stanford Medicine. Yes, it's the first gene therapy gel, and when I saw the wound healing and then looked at a biopsy of the skin and saw the collagen expression in the skin, that's, I think, the major aha moment for me. How many people approximately suffer from this blistering skin disease? There's probably about 3,000 people in the United States and maybe about 15,000 people worldwide. So Kendra, having this treatment must be life-changing not only for Rowan, but yourself, your family. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, we've, um, he's been diagnosed since birth, so six years we've been dealing with it, and this is the first treatment of any kind that we've seen besides just preventative bandaging, and this treatment is actually helping to heal the wounds. Before this treatment came along, what was it like tending to Rowan day to day, taking care of him? It is very difficult. He has to have his bandages changed. He has to have his wounds tended to, and for a very long time, we had to do everything ourselves. But watching the wounds shrink from like his entire back being covered in wounds to having nothing, these constant wounds that we've had since birth, and they're finally closing, it was just miraculous. When you just see these patients, what they go through, you just can't help but be sympathetic and want to help. What would be the next step after this gene therapy gel? We want to be able to treat other areas that are affected in these patients. So inside of the mouth can get blisters, the eyes can get blisters, the esophagus and the rectal area can also get blisters. It must be great as a mother, as a parent, to see, even through all this suffering, that there's hope. Yes, absolutely. That's the biggest, I think, biggest thing that any family with a medical complex child, they need that hope to keep going. For you personally, having this gene therapy gel for patients like Rowan, how does that make you feel? This type of success in the, in the clinic is, is infectious and it makes you want to make more discoveries. Being able to help these patients is satisfaction enough, you know, for me. Hey Rowan, give me a high five. Wow. Thank you. <laughs>